Hey there everybody, Freddy here from Two Loose Bricks and I'm going to do sort of a uh, overview of my uh, theme park here and what I'm going to be doing in the next few months. It's in total disarray right now uh, because I have been working on it a bit um, but then we had some visitors come and uh, they set up shop in here and it's got to be cleaned again and disinfected and um, they have now left the premises and been dispatched to other places so uh, I see that they've been over there as well so there's a lot of cleaning to be done but let me run through everything with you first off well as you know it's Pirates Cove is right here on the top and then down below we have uh, Spongebob on that side and Ariel and all our friends on that side let me just lower this down so you can see that a little bit better and of course Spongebob's over there. Now, down below, I got a train track in the way. Uh, bags of stuff and everything just sitting here. Uh, we have uh, a military base down here and the Nuketown set over to the right here. So there's the Nuketown. Right there. And we have our base over to the side over here. <laughs> Halloween Town is a total disaster. Looks like they've been binge partying for like days. However, this is going to get changed around. Uh, and it's probably going to even come out of here. Because this is an addition on to that uh, front table that I don't want anymore. It's got to be a separate table, so I think we're going to make a separate table here um, and make Halloween Town completely different on an island of its own. And then over here, oh, we have the CN Tower. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a mess. We've been working at this. Now, I've been trying to incorporate like a little bit of all the different theme parks into this and at Epcot of course you know you have all the different countries so that's why I have Canada there and like Japan and China and all that and Norway over here with the Frozen however um, I don't know I might have to shrink that down to just have it down along here because my Harry Potter display keeps getting bigger and bigger and I keep getting more and more for it but I'm running out of room for it um, because all along the front over there it's all Harry Potter it's like 10 feet long with 2 feet wide that's all filled now this part in here I used the Winter Village uh, for Hogsmeade because um, I need the place for them and I wanted the Hogsmeade so that was alright and I got a bit of a Diagon Alley thing going on there too that I also uh, mocked up myself um, except for Gringox Bank, uh, which is, I, I gathered the parts and, and built it myself. However, um, Harry Potter land is sort of all in that center part there, so um, there's more castle, there's the borough is coming, Privet Drive is going to go in there, so I think the borough is going to end up going right around there, um, or maybe over here on this side. I may put it on this side, like right where the... Um, hot air balloon is behind the castle which would be kind of cool um, so I haven't figured that out yet but anyway uh, so we have frozen here frozen starts here and there's all kinds of it and amongst there and sort of like Doctor Who is in there and there's all kinds of stuff and then we have the actual North Pole up here with all the elves and Santa Claus and the kids in line for Santa Claus and all that so that's pretty cool and um, the train of course which is working and going around only I just don't have it wired up right now um, the controllers are just put away for cleaning um, and I'm getting more lights and stuff in here too as well so I don't think that's plugged in no it's not plugged in I got stuff all switched off right now because uh, for safety reasons we don't want stuff plugged in as we're working so uh, go to the back of the castle there uh, Scooby-Doo and my Hollywood Tower of Terror now that I don't know if I should keep that or not um, I have the new drop tower and that's going to be going in 
um, Halloween Town, I believe. Or I may put it where the CN Tower is. It's another big set. I don't know where I'm going to put it. Um, anyway, let's go along here. As you can see, we have Steamboat Willie out front. There's a reason for him being out front here. Um, something I'm working on. And uh, when I get it done, I'll show you. Uh, don't want to release that idea yet, just in case someone else might want to take it and go with it. But anyway, um, I'm also building, you can see green track and purple track down along the bottom there. Uh, it's sort of like a ride around the main roller coaster coming back through um, Toy Story Land and all this here. And coming straight down here. And coming and circling around there um, and going around and it will have a motorized it will have a motorized uh, vehicles on it so it'll be like the people mover in Disney World and Disneyland so yeah really like the people mover so decided to sort of make my own with the rails so those those purple rails um, that I have there this one here is 3d printed most of the straights are 3d printed that one came with the set. That one came with the set. I got three. Uh, I got four that came with the Toy Story set. And then the rest are all 3D printed. Um, and as you can tell, I got some of the green ones printed there as well. Um, minus the uh, the middle parts. They're just sort of straight tracks. And they work quite well. Um, so you can tell these are 3D printed because they're much thicker than these guys right here the originals I'll try to get that on there yeah but anyway um, they all work so I gotta put them together and that's Toy Story Land then we have Main Street sort of Main Street here um, right there's Fantasy Land in there and then the shops on Main Street with the parade now it's gonna be changed slightly um, because there is a little bit of room there and there's going to be more room over here because the Flintstones is going to be moved um, not exactly sure where they're going either but they're going to be moved because in Disney World and in Disneyland Main Street when you go in on your right it's all the food uh, places and stores um, that are on the right on the left is all the shopping shops um, where you can purchase souvenirs and toys and all that kind of fun stuff. It's always on the, the right side coming out of the parks. Um, that's just a fun fact I learned from um, somebody. And uh, try to set that up as much as I can here as well. Um, going on, I've got like the mixer and the carousel. Now all the rides are motorized. They are working uh, when everything is plugged in, of course. We have the uh, grand stage here out front where we have celebrities playing and I think it's right now it's a uh, ode to uh, right now it's a tribute to Michael Jackson going on there uh, the Disney Railroad is uh, getting ready to hook up and uh, do some uh, trips around the park here and of course there I am right in front my sig fig right at the front of the train so we got some other things going on here as well the UFO I uh, haven't decided yet if I'm going to motorize that one. I really like to. I think it's really cool. It can be. So, why not? You know? Um, right now, I can't get any power functions motors because I think the uh, Lego is actually um, getting out of the power functions line. They're retiring them all. So, it would have to go to the boost system. So, those motors are like crazy expensive, so I think I'm going to try to get some uh, remote control RC car motors and uh, put in here for these to motorize them uh, with the proper gears and print some gears to make them fit. So then we move along, we got the Ferris wheel, um, I'm at the frozen banana stand, and uh, if anyone knows where the frozen banana stand is from, let me know in the comments below. And... Um, cows that move their heads as they watch the train go by taco stand and then up here on this side we have like um, I guess it would be future world or um, project space or whatever you want to call it over there sitting behind Harry Potter and of course this is 
my Harry Potter display. And uh, it goes like right along here. We've got a lot to do here because things are falling down. And our dear friends, the mice, were living in here and under the castle like the Bascalus. So we have to clean that all out and um, sanitize that again. And um, once we get that done, we can put it back to rights and uh, get it going but this is this is what i got going here so far with harry potter land and you can see things are just been knocked over and whatever uh and in the background that's my dad's model trains ho model trains back there down here i have under the shelves i've got a ton of stuff <laughs> it's either built or not built uh stuff that i'm working on all that kind of stuff all the tiny mini builds are over here uh, and going behind if we go back to where the quidditch uh field is we swing over this way we have uh, star wars land uh yeah, endor the death star and we also have the carbon freezing chamber up there on cloud city and Billy D. Williams autographed picture to me. <laughs> so that's really cool. That's really special. Um, the Falcon is here. I got a ton of stuff just sitting here. There's a lot of this is Harry Potter stuff that's got to go out there yet. Um, and there, oh yes, my and then Jago signed uh, autographed picture from Cole. That was, you can see it signed right there. It was the fellow that did the uh, voice of Cole in the uh, animated series and uh, he was really nice uh, pleasant guy to meet Kirby Morrow uh, unfortunately he passed away just this um, past year so sad anyway I got a lot of like uh, figures and whatnot to uh, put out in the park and of course um, right here we have see if the light is on yes the light is on we have uh, Jawas and the Jawas are tipping over there. We straighten them up there. Houtini <laughs> and uh, one lone Tuscan Raider. Well, we have another guy now for him, so that's good. Oh, there's another uh, Jawa up there waiting for something to come by. And of course, this is supposed to be uh, a replica. This is supposed to be a um, replica of Tatooine. Um, well, well, I guess. Maybe, maybe not. This is my version of it, so it works for me. Uh, ben Kenobi and R2 down there in the cave sort of thing. Um, there's also Ben and Luke on the land speeder with light-up lightsabers. All this stuff works. It's great. It's amazing. Um, just have to get it all cleaned and back in order. All my R2 units and... Uh, different things I have up there now I got space up top there I can put another little shelf for small stuff it's gonna be packed in here pretty tight there's also uh, Yoda and uh, that Yoda came from uh, Alex Nunes and uh, we joke back and forth on YouTube about his Yoda so here's to you Alex Yoda is safe here and he's guarding over the galaxy here and um, yeah so oh well, yes can't forget the main sign welcome to Hollywood this is Hollywood this is what I call my display it's Hollywood um, and it's a Hollywood amusement park yeah and there we got a house that's on fire we got the hospital next to it and um, Hugh Hefner and his Playboy Mansion is right here and down here we have the bat cave with a great big picket brick cup sitting in the middle of it full of Batman parts. Over in the next section we have Dargate. Yeah. Because this is sort of like divided off. It's dark underneath here. But it's sort of like divided off as into like movie um, sets or stages. It's sort of divided off into like movie stages I guess you want to call it. And um, this is the Indiana Jones Indiana Jones stage. So it's pretty cool and like the the uh, train or tram or whatever you want to call it goes through it and they can get a tour there. Up here we have like the outside outside back lot and we have like a Canadian tire um, shop, we have an airport, we have a pizza place, we have the trailer park boys set, we have Lego store we have an apple store we have the chicken burger which is a restaurant here locally um, we also have 
the KISS concert going on in the background, fully operational. Well, not right now, but it is. It's pretty cool. Um, do have some videos for a lot of this stuff in the past. So you look up some of my old videos. Dominions are up there with my big Sig Fig and uh, St. Hubert's over hiding in behind. Uh, Olaf is there. And then we just have a, a bunch of um, shelf space that contains all the cars and trucks and farm vehicles and whatnot and the Mega Men up there. Uh, more autographs up on the top there. And then I'm going to kind of scoot around to the ceiling here and kind of go, go slow. I have all the helicopters and planes and spaceships and all that wonderful stuff just hanging around. Um, right over top of Hogwarts, as you can see, is the big green dragon. And uh, he's chasing Harry, spitting fire at him. And Harry brums on fire there, but yeah, I'm sure he'll survive that. We still got the carriage to put up hang him above Hogwarts as they were coming down type of thing um, in the movie as well. We got aliens, we got water bombers. Uh, my uncle actually flew on a water bomber like that. It was a Catalina. Um, <clears throat> they've been all since retired but I thought I'd build it and uh, he was quite impressed uh, that uh, it came out uh, similar to the real one. Uh, the real one is pretty similar to this. Um, the c colorations of it is um, not. It's uh, orange and white was the real one. Um, but this is what I had to deal with and um, and I had to build with. So I just went with it. Didn't really mind it. It's still the model. It works. It's pretty cool. So we, we just sort of modified the water bomber uh, quite a bit actually from the, uh, the kit one. Um, that came out a few years ago. And all the Star Wars ships, uh, the X-Wing has seen better days hanging there, the elastics, of course. But um, that's it. So that being said, I got a lot to do. Lots to do, lots to do. And um, yeah, we got all kinds of things going on here. And a bunch of my mocks and stuff. And uh, yeah, the leaves. Don't know if you can tell, but those, the purple ones and the black ones on that tree are 3D printed. Um, so yeah, I've been incorporating some 3D printed stuff already in here. And um, we'll be putting more in as required. Um, just parts that are hard to get or you can't get in a certain color. Or um, I need them in a hurry or whatever the case may be. So some of my controls there so each table is actually has its own set of controls um, so that they can be moved apart everything is uh, can be taken apart as you can see right here with the monorail um, it's apart right now because I had the part for cleaning uh, where am I here oopsie uh, well there's the end of the track right there yeah and it goes right across to there so Anyway, that's the part. That one is closed on the other end because that one was okay at the time. I got to take it apart. But this table separates this way. This one moves. Everything is on wheels so that uh, it can be cleaned and stuff can be stored underneath my tables. So, uh, you know, it's pretty neat. Uh, we got Flynn's Arcade there and we have all the um, uh, arcade games and whatnot. Good grief. The mice decided they go everywhere they're in there as well been up in there and i think maybe there's been they're still around i don't know i can't tell um uh, but there seems to be a lot more stuff going on here so i gotta do some major cleaning again this is not going to be fun and um well that's just the way it is i guess so uh yeah see there's one big mess down there. It's kind of hard to see it, but they got in down there and set up shop. So that's one thing with displays you have in your garage. You got to be careful of is mice and that. Anyway, um, so that about concludes the tour of my amusement park. Probably not the best because it's a total mess. But anyway, I just wanted to show it to you and let you know where we stand at this point in time in February of 2021. Um, it's really cold here today, and uh, that's why I got a sweater on. It's really cold, and I can't even work down here because um, I don't have heat in the garage. That's another thing. So um, I'm going to try to remedy that for next year, however. Until next time, take care, stay safe, wear your mask if you go outside. Peace out.
Hey, if you want to see more of my LEGO theme park or do-it-yourself tips and tricks, check out my other videos.